Hello and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date with what's happening here on this channel. And if you already subscribed, thank you so much for tuning in today. Uh... So what I want to talk to you today about is purpose. Yes, purpose. And if you know what your purpose is in life, then kudos to you. Awesome. That is great. But if you don't know what your purpose is in life, I'm encouraging you today to find out what your purpose is. Find out why God created you. Find out why he has you on this earth. Um, it's going to be very vital um, for you to be able to move forward in life and to be able to just hit at the right things. You're not going to be able to find your purpose in your job. You're not going to be able to find your purpose in your kids or your spouse or your loved ones or hobbies or those sorts of things. Those things may be tied to your purpose and they may have um, a significance in your purpose, but ultimately your purpose is going to be found in God. So I encourage you first and foremost to find out what your purpose is and how do you find out your purpose? you got to find it out. Um, through God. And how do you get to God? Through Jesus. So you got to spend some time in prayer. You got to spend some time in prayer and just trusting the Lord, you know, um, in leading you. Sometimes he may just lead you to the word. You may read a story. You may read, you know, about Abraham and read about how, you know, God spoke to him and he revealed to him and even about generations to come, the purpose that he had, had for Abraham and even generations to come behind him. But the role that he played in those particular generations in um, being the forefounder or being the, the founding father, should I say, of those generations and in, in, in the, the major role that he played. And just so many other stories in the Bible and, and different ways of how God just spoke to people concerning their purpose. He may encourage you in that way. Or he may just lead you to a time of fasting. He may lead you to a time of, hey, just turn off your flesh for a while so that you can hear from me clearly. So that um, I can sharpen this thing for you and give you a clear understanding. You may have had an idea, you may have had some thoughts, you may have a generalized uh, feel right now for what you think your purpose is, but ultimately he wants to um, help you to really see it. And sometimes he'll sharpen us or help us to, uh, our vision or our thoughts to be sharpened through fasting. So just be encouraged in that way, but do spend the time going to God in prayer, seeking him so that he can show you specifically what it is he has for your life, for you um, to do with the earth. And so I think that is so important for us um, so that we don't go through life aimlessly, so that we're not um, in a place of despair year after year because we don't feel like we have purpose or we don't feel like, you know, we're um, making a mark in the earth. And so um, I just encourage you to begin by first just finding um, some time in prayer, seeking the Lord, and beginning to find out what your purpose is. The next thing is, is when you um, find out what your purpose is, when God begins to speak to you and deal with you concerning your purpose, the next thing you have to do is, shh, you've got to be quiet. You have to be quiet. Um, initially, when God begins to deal with us as it pertains to purpose, you know, we can get excited, we get thrilled about it, we're just like, oh my God, I've been waiting for this, you know, I've been waiting for the Lord to speak to me and, you know, direct me in this way, and you just begin to share and just tell, you know, everyone, and sometimes that can be very detri detrimental. Um, not that you won't, you know, share purpose or God won't allow for you to um, share with others, but allow him to lead you in that way. What I mean is sometimes God will give you purpose and he'll begin to share with you uh, the broader picture or the bigger picture. And if you speak too soon or you share with certain people, it can open up a door for doubt. It can open up a doubt. Uh, I'm sorry. It can open up a door for fear. And um, really just cause you to second guess what God has said. So that's why it's so important. The next thing to do is just just to be quiet, just to meditate on what he's saying. Allow for him to begin to unfold those things in your life. Allow yourself to cover those things in prayer and to be led by his spirit and led by his voice instead of being led by the voices of so many other people. Because um, what you can do is open yourself up to people's critical opinion of you. That you can open up yourself uh, to people saying, hey, well, I don't, I don't see that. I don't see that. You know, who told you that? Are you sure you heard from God? You know, those sort of things. And it's so important that when you know for certain that you've heard from him, that you just, okay, I hear you, Lord. I understand. You've shown me this. You've shown me that. You know, I get it. You're lining things up. And just to sit on that, just to rest on that, to pray about that, to allow God to continue to cultivate those things. And then just be led by the Spirit of God, led by the voice of God in terms of who all he'll want you to share that with initially. 
Um, but yes, ultimately your purpose and your purpose in the earth is going to be revealed and it's going to be a light that will shine bright before many. But I'm just talking about in the beginning stages, just be mindful and just trust the Lord on who you begin to share those things with initially. And the third thing is let your life center around your purpose. Once you find out, once God reveals to you what your purpose is, um, begin to direct your life and line your life up with the purpose that he has for you. So that means everything that you begin to do from now on, um, the steps that you take in life, the people that you have around you in life, you know, do you need to get rid of some people in your life? What do you need to do to focus your life's journey or to focus the things that you're doing right now in life toward your purpose? How are you lining yourself up to go towards purpose? And that is so, so, so important. Because if you try to stab at a lot of different things, if you try to be over here and over there and down here and up there, you'll, you'll ultimately um, see yourself just kind of running in circles. When God wants us to be sure, he wants us to be on the sure path. And just kind of going back to the story, um, you know, of Abraham and even just, you know, talking about how the Lord blessed him and um, how he spoke to him concerning uh, destiny. He, he, he spoke to him concerning generations to come. And, you know, all by, you know, Abraham's faith, he just trusted in the Lord and God counted him as righteous because of that. But he revealed so many things to him when he began to speak to him about purpose and everything in Abraham's life. You know, though he may have gotten off track, you know, at times to try to fulfill things in his own strength and all of that. But ultimately, he was still striving to go towards purpose. So it's so important for us to make sure that our lives are lined up with purpose. Everything that we do has to be lined up with that. And even, you know, you think about the story of, of Jacob, you know, who, you know, became Israel. You think about how he did certain things, even with his children, and um, how just certain strategic moves in life and, and um, certain places that he went to, all of those sort of things that he did, and even, you know, his his father and, and, and so forth and so on, how they just did certain things. They lined themselves up. They went to certain places. They met with certain people. They did or did not do certain things because they ultimately wanted to be in the will of God and they wanted to be moving towards purpose. They knew that the Lord had spoken the word and they wanted to see the purpose that he had for them come to pass. And so what did they have to do? They had to make sure that their entire life was lining up with the purpose of God. So that is my encouragement for you for this week. You know, begin this week, begin now just asking the Lord, just praying, um, just seeking him, as I said, maybe through times of consecration or whatever, um, just to get closer to him, just to get a better understanding from him of what purpose uh, he has for you, of what the purpose is that he has for you. Why did he create you? Why are you on this earth? And if you're already operating in your purpose, just continue to do more of that. Continue to stay in this. Well, I encourage you to stay um, in purpose. Continue to stay in the will of God. Continue to move forward in the things that, you know, he's called you to do. And um, just be encouraged by that. Be encouraged and just know that God does have a purpose and he does have a plan for you. But his purpose and his plan uh, for you is going to be wrapped up in him. So, Begin by seeking him this week, and um, I just pray that you be blessed by this word, that you be blessed um, and encouraged this week, and that it'll help you to just line up some things a little bit differently for you. And i just catch you guys in the next video. Bye.